Okay, here we go. As you can see, we have the Eldar pulled up. And look at their generals. So cool. So let's do the Eldar tutorial and see what is special about them. Traveling the webway brings many surprises. Nice map. The galaxy will only know peace when I am its ruler. You are interlopers, and you will be repelled. So, we're fighting the Necrons. This is a scripted tutorial. <laughs> Just looking around the map. Okay, here we go. This is a vehicle. Swift demise. One of the special abilities of the Eldar are shurikens. And this is how it works. Cleanse His this place. Damage we must is protect the craft world. When he attacks, he's going to hit this guy for two shuriken damage first. The shuriken damage is first before anything else. Great advantage in playing Eldar. Some of you might want to consider gaining Eldar. Oh yeah, the Shuriken ability only triggers when you attack. When you defend, it does not work. Excuse you me. will whisper my name with fear and respect. It wants me to attack here. Make sure it's melee. So I take only one damage back instead of three for ranged. And the shuriken is going to finish him off. It wants me to play the striking scorpion. Look at that artwork. Take a look at that. His shuriken is two damage. He's stealth. Go Eldar. A swift assault is the best approach. I wanted to share with you that I've been learning how to love the Lord Jesus over a period of a very long time. And it hasn't been easy. It's a process. It's a process to start loving Jesus. I will show you the futility of your actions. He is reanimating his card. That is the Necron special ability there. Okay. I will not let this sanctuary be corrupted. So we're going to attack with Might. I'm sorry, Melee. Melee. And we want to attack ranged. See, his ranged is zero. So make sure you're in ranged. A Guardian Defender. Okay. So comes the hour of bloodshed. Deploy a Storm Guardian. Okay. Nice. I must protect. You can't stop that. It's been set in motion. Okay. You see this waystone? That is the Eldar faction ability. You can collect these. Watch. Click it, collect it, and it comes over here where my mouse is. And as you collect them, you'll have one, two, three, four, five. You can use those to do special abilities. Okay, it wants us to attack here. So we have to. It wants 
stones. Okay. Collect the stone. Now we have two of them. So, okay. I'm trying to read. Can't drop. I see, it wants us to kill that. Did you see how it used the two stones over here? Right there? Ah! So, what I want to share with you is, maybe you've been a Christian for a few years, and you can tell that you don't love the Lord Jesus all that much. Or maybe you've been a Christian for 15 years, and if you were honest with yourself, you can see that you don't love the Lord Jesus too much. <clears throat> and what I want to share with you after the next turn is going to greatly help. Behold the storm blackened sky. So the Eldar have shurikens and the Eldar have these stones, spirit stones. <laughs> that was funny. Do you see how the shurikens are killing the enemy before the card has to hit? Okay. Let's play the swooping hawk. When the wind cries, retribution has arrived. I want to share with you what God has taught me. That the more you humble yourself, the more you crush your pride, the more that you crush your own ego, the more he's going to give you grace to love his son, Jesus. So it is that terrible, terrible pride that is, in a sense, it's blocking us from loving Jesus more. So the goal right here is to humble ourselves more and grace will come from God so we can love him more. I'm just looking at the artwork. Greystone, Talent, Witchfire, creates a card. <laughs> so they can attack the stone and destroy it. Do you see that? Your life is a brief flicker to that of an immortal. Okay, we need to collect the stone. of fate tell of nothing but death. So comes the hour of bloodshed. And he's 2-3, so let's go my uh. way. Uh. to the smaller number and kill him. This cannot be done. Oh, okay. This is a flying unit. If you want to attack a flying unit, you gotta switch uh. to ranged. Or, you have to be a flying unit yourself. So, if we need grace from God, grace from the Father to love His Son more, the key is to work on humbling yourself as much as you can day and night. Day and night. Okay, my turn. Don't we want to collect these first? No. Oh, I see. 
the spirit stone is activating special abilities. That's awesome. That's really cool. Eldar. Follow the wind. Bring forth Kane's fire. Click him. See that? Those spirit stones are activating special abilities. Okay, so <clears throat> am I free to do whatever I want now? So let's kill this card with melee. This cannot be done. Oh, it's a flying. Okay, so let's ah! use our hero. We're gonna go face for four. Now I can kill this, right? But he has only one card in his hand. Is that one card going to be able to reanimate? Ow, let's hit him for four. There we go. Let's see what happens. Reanimate. Uh oh. Collect the stone. See that? Really cool stuff. Look at that, a Wraith Lord. Ooh, sweet. Spirits guide me. See that? He ate up the spirit stones and got more powerful. And. That's a seven. Fifteen, five, seven. Let's just go face. Ah! There we go. So don't complain about not being able to love Jesus. Don't worry. Don't be worried about it. I might main the Necron. I might. Okay, we can't quite kill him. Okay. We have 10 energy. What does Rally do? Oh, I see. Can we go face? Let's go face and he's dead. There we go. Let's work on humbling you yourself to be a worthy foe. In God. My life has been spent preparing for this. When the craft worlds unite, we will prevail. God will give us grace to start loving his son Jesus more and more and more. There is the Eldar tutorial.